Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Mesh Seibel, a professor at the University of Massachusetts Medical School and founder of Health Rock. I want to talk to you about something today that I think is incredibly important and something that a lot of people still don't realize how important it is, and that is vitamin D. You know, the reason I want to talk about it with you today is because almost no day goes by that I see patients that I don't find someone who has low vitamin D. Now this is a condition that could be very important to your life. The kinds of symptoms that people complain about with this, sometimes they come in with no symptoms, but sometimes it's just tiredness. It could be a little bit of depression. Some of the women have hot flashes and, and they think that it's due to hormones only, maybe due to low vitamin D. So these are some of the, the common symptoms. We know that vitamin D is essential vitamin. In other words, you have to get it from either your diet or from being in enough sunshine to turn the cholesterol in the skin into uh, D3 and then the vitamin D3 gets converted in the liver or the kidneys to the vitamin D uh, that we need in our bodies. Now, here's something uh, that you might not know, the foods that you can get vitamin D in. You can get it from milk. For instance, if your milk says fortified with vitamin D, certain breakfast cereals are fortified with vitamin D. The egg yolk, that part of the egg has the vitamin D. Also, deep water fish like salmon, mackerel, uh, fish like that, those also have vitamin D. And if you get enough of those foods, cod liver oil, that's another source, those are uh, foods that will give you more. People who are at particular risk of having low vitamin D are people who have intestinal absorption problems like celiac or sprue disease, people who have dark colored skin, uh, people who are uh, living in the north, in the uh, northern part of the United States or in parts of the world where they have less sunlight. Those people are at more risk and also people who are slathering on lots of suntan lotion because they're not getting the ultraviolet rays to the skin to convert the uh, cholesterol to vitamin vitamin D. The good thing is it's so simple to find out if you have the problem. When you go in for an annual exam, I strongly urge that you talk to your doctor. Ask your doctor for a vitamin D test. The test you want is called 25-hydroxy uh, vitamin D. That's 25-OH vitamin D. And that is going to tell you then if your blood level is uh, normal or low. In my opinion, when people have a low vitamin D, they can simply take a supplement over the counter. There's some discussion if vitamin D2 or, T or D3 is better. I recommend the D3. It seems to be more uh, effective in building vitamin D back up. However, if your values are a half of normal or less than a half of normal, I encourage people to talk with their doctors about getting as much as 50,000 international units per week for about three months. It takes about three months to build those levels back up to normal. And then, something that people often don't know, continue on the vitamin D from that time on, at a lower dose, something like about one to 2,000 international units per day. Because I find invariably that in about three or six or nine months, the people who don't continue with the vitamin D actually have their levels get down to the deficient level again. Now this is really important to you because there's new data that show that people with low vitamin D are at increased risk of heart attack, particularly if they have high blood pressure. It makes their muscles lower. It increases the risk of cancer, certain cancers. Breast cancer is one of those. And, and these are things that can be uh, prevented. In kids, we find out that kids who have low vitamin D have increased asthma, increased allergies. These are things that can be improved just by taking vitamin D. So once again, when you go in for your annual exam, talk to your doctor or healthcare provider about checking your vitamin D level. If it's low, definitely treat it. And if it's really low, continue to treat it from that time on with one to 2,000 units a day. I hope this has been useful to you. And if you have a desire for more information, I have a lot of information on my website, drseibel.com, D-O-C-T-O-R, S-E-I-B-E-L dot com. In the meantime, everyone, remember, it's better to stay well than to get well.